Hi guys, welcome back to YouTube channel Chemistry Live UGPG. Today we are going to talk about carboxylic acids and its derivatives. Lecture 1. So this will be highly useful for BSc and BSc chemistry students under CBCS syllabus. So I have a simple message for you guys. Please think for innovation, be creative, learn everywhere, anytime and help to learn others. So now question arises, why we will study carboxylic acids? So whatever we eat in our day to day life, mostly it contains carboxylic acids. So let's take some examples. So this one, acetic acid. So here it contains COH group, carboxylic acid group and CS3. So in acetic acid, uh, acetic acid, it is present in uh, vinegar, 4 to 6 percent acetic acid in water. So this vinegar is used to marinate the non-veg items. Similarly, lemon and all citrus fruits contain citric acid. It contains three carboxylic acid groups and one hydroxyl group. Similarly, milk, meat, it contains lactic acid. So which has one carboxylic acid group, one hydroxyl group and one methyl group. Similarly, spinach, tomato, broccoli has oxalic acid. So it has two two groups of a carboxylic acid group. Similarly, vitamin C, that is otherwise known as ascorbic acid. So citrus fruits, tomato, potato, broccoli, all contains this vitamin C or ascorbic acid. So during corona pandemic period, we used to take the vitamin C tablets. Similarly, aspirin, which has one carboxylic acid group. It is present in bark and leaves of willow and poplar, poplar trees. Similarly, animal and plant proteins contain amino acids. Generally, we have 20 amino acids found. Vegetable and animal fats like cocoa butter, it contains steric acid and palmitic acid, which also contain carboxylic acid group. Similarly, fatty acids like omega-6 or omega-3, that is known as healthy fats. It supports our heart health system. So this is the syllabus under semester 3, CC6 paper, unit 4, carboxylic acids and their derivatives. So while coming to introduction of monocarboxylic acids, the general formula of carboxylic acid is RCOH, where R is aliphatic residue, so R can be saturated, unsaturated or may be substituted or unsubstituted. So when R is H, hydrogen, that becomes formic acid, HCOH, or it is otherwise known as methanoic acid. So when R equal to CS3, that becomes CS3COH, that is acetic acid, that we know present in vinegar. Similarly, we can write this acetic acid as HCH2COH, so if we replace hydrogen with a NH2 group, so that becomes amino acetic acid. Similarly, by chlorine, it becomes chloroacetic acid. So if we replace this hydrogen by OH group, hydroxyl group, that is known as hydroxyacetic acid. Similarly, in this acetic acid, if we replace this hydrogen by a phenyl group, that becomes phenylacetic acid. If we replace that hydrogen with a carboxylic acid group, that becomes malonic acid. And if we replace this CS3 group by a vinyl group, that becomes acrylic acid. So, in general, the aliphatic higher member of monocarboxylic acids are known as fatty acids. So, examples are palmitic acid and steric acid. So, in this unit, we discuss today the preparation of carboxylic acids. So, the first method for preparation of carboxylic acid is oxidation of primary alcohol. So, this is the structure of a primary alcohol, RCH2OH. So it oxidizes to give rise to carboxylic acid in presence of reagent H plus and sodium dichromate Na2Cr2O7. So now we will talk about how this reactant is converted to product. So what is its mechanism? So this is the proposed mechanism. So sodium dichromate is ionic compound. So it simply ionizes to give rise to 2 Na plus ion plus Cr2O7 2 minus ion. And this is the structure of a Cr2O7 2 minus ion. So in presence of H plus ion, it gives rise to this molecule which is unstable and in presence of water it breaks down to give rise to a more reactive species H2CrO4 and H plus ion in presence of water gives rise to 
hydronium ion H3O plus. So let's uh, discuss some prerequisite knowledge about mechanism. So generally we write the reactant and that gives rise to product in presence of reagent. So how this reactant is converted to product? So that is known as mechanism. So what is mechanism? So mechanism shows the movement of double headed arrow, how bonds are broken and new bonds are formed leading to formation of product which may be multi-step process or one-step process. So let's take one example, AX is the bond. Okay, which is represented by a line or two dots that is two electrons. So when this bond is broken heterolytically, so the bond on which atom it is broken, so that gets negative charge with both the electrons that is regarded as nucleophile and other atom gets positive charge which lacks both the electrons that is known as electrophile. So similarly, if this bond breaks on other side, so it A gets yeah, both the electrons with negative charge that is known as nucleophile and X becomes positively charged with the lack of electrons so that is electrophile and while writing mechanism the nucleophile will always attack the electrophile and the representation by a two headed arrow and giving rise to nucleophile electrophile bond or AX bond but the thing is you cannot attack electro electrophile to nucleophile because that is not possible So now we will discuss how this primary alcohol will be converted to carboxylic acid. Okay. So this is the reactive species H2CrO4 and in presence of H plus. So OH of alcohol contains lone pair of electrons so that are act as nucleophile. So this nucleophile will attack this chromium center and this CrOH bond will break on OH and this oxygen lone pair will attack the proton H plus. So as a result you end up with this species. So this species is unstable or this compound is unstable. Again bond breaking and bond making will take place. So here this CH bond will break on the here and this OCR bond will break on chromium and CR double bond O will break on oxygen. So as a result you will end up with this protonated aldehyde. And again water takes this proton from this protonated aldehyde and this OH bond will break on oxygen. So as a result you end up with aldehyde. And again aldehyde reacts with water giving rise to 1 1 diol that we know. And again this 1 1 diol react with H2CRO4 in presence of H plus. So OH lone pair will attack as nucleophile to this chromium center and this CRO H bond will break on oxygen and oxygen lone pair will attack this proton H plus. So as a result you will end up with this compound which again undergo simultaneous bond making and bond breaking process giving rise to protonated acid and simply water takes this proton from this protonated acid giving rise to carboxylic acid. So here is one problem given for you guys please write down so suppose you take propanol and what will be the product if you take the reagent H plus and potassium dichromate. So please write down its mechanism. The next method is hydrolysis of cyanides. So you take alkyl cyanide in presence of H plus and water it becomes carboxylic acid. This is known as acid hydrolysis. Similarly in presence of OH minus and water this is the alkaline medium so that is known as alkaline hydrolysis and the product is RCOH or carboxylic acid. So while coming to mechanism of acid hydrolysis so this, this is the structure of alkyl cyanide. So nitrogen lone pair can act as a nucleophile. So it can add, uh, attack to the electrophile H+. So you get this protonated form and which can undergo resonance. So you end up with a carbocation center C+. Again water act as nucleophile it will attack to this carbocation center. So you get this protonated water form. And loss of proton giving rise to this enol form and which again tautomerizes to give rise to amide or keto form. And again this nitrogen lone pair will attack uh, the H plus ion as electrophile giving rise to this protonated ammonia and again water the oxygen lone pair will attack this carbonyl carbon and this CO double bond will break on oxygen giving rise to this intermediate when this O minus will come back it will kick out NH3 as neutral molecule. So loss of ammonia molecule give rise to this protonated acid.
and again loss of a proton giving rise to this carboxylic acid similarly while talking about alkaline hydrolysis this oh minus ion act as nucleophile so it will attack this carbon uh, carbon center and this cn bond will break on nitrogen so you get this enol form and this n minus takes the proton from water and it generate oh minus ion again and again what will happen this enol form can undergo uh, tautomerization to give rise to keto form and again water will attack this carbonyl carbon so oxygen lone pair can attack this carbonyl carbon center and this co double bond will break on oxygen so giving rise to this intermediate again here nitrogen lone pair take the proton from water so giving rise to this intermediate when this o minus again come back it will kick out nh3 as neutral molecule so as a result you end up with carboxylic acid another method for preparation of carboxylic acid is carbonation of organometallic reagents so rmgx grignard reagent can react with carbon dioxide in presence of acid giving rise to carboxylic acid so what is the mechanism we can write rmgx as r minus and mgx plus and this is the structure of carbon dioxide c double bond o c double bond o so r minus can act as nucleophile it will attack to the electrophile center c and this co bond will break on oxygen so as a result you end up with this product and this upon hydrolysis giving rise to carboxylic acid so please subscribe our channel chemistry live ugpg so this is the channel for class 11th and 12th students foundation chemistry ab so this is also available in the website www.foundationchemistryab.com so this is a simple step towards e-learning making life better thank you all for learning